Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Ryan from B2B Gateway's marketing team. And what's the buzz this week with B2B Gateway? Well, ironically, I'm out here maintaining my beehive, just like B2B Gateway staff is at home maintaining connectivity for all of our clients. This week, not only are we gonna give you some fun facts about honeybees, but we're gonna be checking in with one of our production support team members, Luke Harrington, on how he's been holding up, what he's been up to, and some projects that he's been working on. Hi, my name's Luke and I work for the production support team at B2B Gateway. Hey Luke, nice to see you. How you holding up? Hey, what's up Ryan? Long time no see. I'm, I'm good. I'm starting to miss the coffee breaks. Yeah, right? It seems like every couple hours at the office we would meet each other for another coffee, but on the bright side, I haven't been drinking much coffee, so it's probably good for me. That's Definitely a good thing. So how are you holding up uh, since this whole work from home thing? Um, you have a nice office space at your house? Well, you know, as you can see, I'm working out of the dining room. It's not bad, but uh, things were pretty simple. I just picked up my laptop and plugged it in. Here I am, business as usual. Yeah, totally. And that's kind of the whole marketing message that BDB Gateway has been getting out is like, hey, listen, just because we're home uh, doesn't mean that we're not maintaining connectivity. We're here, we're at home, um, business as usual, like always. So thanks for working hard and uh, just tell everyone who's listening kind of your role, what your role is at B2B Daily and what you do. So I'm on the production support team here and that, that pretty much could encompass a lot on our day to day, but essentially when a relationship is complete and it's in production, you know, we, uh, we work closely with other teams and each team specializes in something different. So. What uh, production support does is we look at the big picture of the issue, we try to triage it, see what's going on, and then work with the appropriate team to solve it, get it done, and uh, move on to the next one. Great. Well, that's great. That, I mean, PST, the production support team, is kind of like they are the people that are maintaining the connectivity for all of our clients, so thank you for that. You're very um, welcome. And that kind, of brings me to, that kind of brings me to the next question that I want to ask you. Um, you were involved in the price validation tool and kind of setting that up. Uh, can, I, can you kind of tell us wh what the price validation tool is about and you know, how it benefits our clients? Yeah, absolutely. So it actually started off with a pretty normal production support ticket. We had a client who noticed that their POs were coming in with some prices that just, they, they were wrong. And they're doing bulk orders and those prices, even though it was just cents, they really add up quick. And unless someone's looking at every single individual line, it is kind of easy to miss sometimes. So, you know, with that in mind, we thought, hey, why don't we just create a price checker? And it's pretty simple, actually. It just takes the price that the client knows they should have, <clears throat> and it compares it to what gets sent in on the purchase order. And if there's a mismatch, it alerts the client, and uh, it doesn't actually interrupt the flow of the purchase order at all. You'll still get your PO imported. Um, but if there is a mismatch, you'll get an email coming along with it, and it shows what you have set up for pricing. And then it shows what was sent on the purchase order. And you can really just nip it at the bud and uh, let the TP know that they're sending maybe not the correct prices or adjust their own pricing even. And it really just smooth things over that way from start to, from the purchase order to the invoice, uh, you don't have to worry about any hangups or, or mismatch total. It just, you know, does what it's supposed to do. That sounds like a really, really useful tool for our clients. Um, how can a client ask for this feature and you know, how can they tie it into their solution? So there's a couple of ways. Um, you can reach us via support ticket in the client portal, but we also have reps available for the, on the phone and via email too. So if maybe you can't get to the client portal, you can give us a call at 401-491-9595, option four, option five. That's our production support team line. And uh, you will be assisted by a member of the team who will create a ticket on your behalf. And we send that over to programming, figure out what we need to do to implement that and um, get a test ready. Now, we also have our email, which is production support team at b2bgateway.net. And same thing, you tell us you want, if you send us an email saying you'd like to check out the price validation tool, we'll open up a ticket for you and uh, we'll get it squared away. So, so any one of those ways would work. Awesome, that's all. Awesome. Really awesome information. So, well, this is listen, Luke. I appreciate your time. Uh, thanks for jumping on this interview with me, and um, you know, letting clients know about price validation and kind of what you've been doing. But you're very welcome, Ryan. I'll talk to you soon. Can't wait to grab coffee with you again.
Yeah, see you, see you in the office hopefully soon. See you, man. So if you know anything about honeybees, or if you like honey, you should know that the queen is the most essential thing to the colony. So today, we're gonna to be requeening this hive who desperately needs a new queen. Uh, so I have a queen cage, and all we're gonna be doing is going in and putting her right in between the frames so that the bees get used to the new queen that's coming in. First, I gotta take the top cover off, and I have a hive top feeder on here. Since this is a new package of bees that I installed this spring, I'm feeding them sugar water to kind of boost their wax making and help the, the comb build up. So all I did was place my queen cage in between the frames and that's all you gotta do. The bees are already checking her out. So let's go ahead and close her up. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about beekeeping and I hope you enjoyed meeting Luke. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our blog on our website for more content. Uh, we're always putting out useful information about EDI and API connectivity and how we can maintain that connectivity for uh, your relationships with your trading partners. So uh, subscribe for more content and I hope you guys have a great week.